Here's a view from one of the windows in the cupola. Someone asked us to take a little more detailed video from the cupola and explain what we're looking at. Um, you can see, if you look at the earth, you can see this is the direction we're going. Uh, usually when the station flies uh, with the U.S. side forward, this is the Russian side you're looking at and we're upside down basically. And while the shuttle's attached, that's the direction that we fly. And what you're looking at here is a progress vehicle. That's the um, Russian cargo vehicle. It's a fully automated rounded one docking and then uh, brings up an entry uh, cargo vehicle. Um, there's a, you can back up uh, manual fly it from the service module and the service module, the command and control center for the Russian segment is back there. It's the next module. And then behind that is, uh, is the European ATV, automated transfer vehicle. It's the one with the uh, solar panel that's going up at an angle there. And it's a very nice module, full of uh, cargo, and uh, and uh, there's actually you know a good amount of space in there that's very usable when it's when it's docked. The solar panels extending up to your left there, that's this, those are panels for the service module, and then the ones that are folded up over here, those are on the FGB, the Russian cargo block. Um, that was the first part of the space station that that ever flew. And then uh, next uh, down here, attached to it, is uh, well, it's further over this way is the, I'll just get there in a second, but that's where the U.S. Uh, segment starts. And what you see here on top of the uh, FGV is a new Russian module, it's a research module. And uh, below the progress is called a docking compartment, or SOID, and it's, you can see there's a little hatch on it with a window. There's one on the other side as well, and uh, they do their spacewalks from that module. All right, let's come around this way. And now you're on top of the U.S. segment, looking down. At, uh, again, we're upside down. The big, you know, the truss is on the other side, so that's a big part of the space station you can't see. And here, blocking our view all the way across here, um, which will be to our new module, Node 3 in the cupola, right on the other side, uh, where we are, where we are right now. And uh, looking at this PMM logistics module we just added. So this is a, a module that used to fit inside. The, uh, we had many of these that flew inside the shuttle cargo bay and brought up uh, logistics with it, and this one was modified to stay here permanently. So it's a very nice space, and we've been using it for our EVA preparations, and it's a lot of cargo in, uh, in there. It's a very nice uh, space to have. And now turning a little bit more toward the forward side of the station, you're looking at the U.S. laboratory there. Attached to it is Dexter, the robot uh, from Canada. It's uh, it's also called SPDM, Special Purpose Dexterous Manipulator. It's got two arms, and it'll be able to do uh, re replacement tasks outside the station. As you can see, a couple of things attached to it. Of course, there's the shuttle and the Earth behind. Very beautiful. Attached to the space station, and a very big component of it when attached. And if you look across on the other side, you see an antenna there. That's a UHF antenna, and beyond it is uh, Columbus, the European uh, research module. And then coming out the other side is the JAM, the Japanese research module. And in front of that is the JEF, the Japanese exposed facility, where a lot of research and experiments are, are conducted. And there's a robotic arm sticking up there. You can see just the end of it. And uh, that arm can actually move things uh, in and out of an airlock at that end of the Japanese module. And turning a little bit further, now you can see part of the truss. That's one of the uh, logistics uh, carriers, um, ELC-1, has some spare parts for the space station. Uh, we added ELC-3, uh, which is on the top side during this mission. And you see the beautiful solar panels there, uh, 240 feet from tip to tip, um, extending out one side. And, um, and coming further around, see we're coming back around to the Russian side. So there's a panoramic view from the cupola. Absolutely beautiful. And if I look straight up, get to see a view of the Earth straight down. And there's the shuttle tail over the Earth. Absolutely beautiful place to to work and gaze at our beautiful planet.